Hello and welcome. On today's episode, a man flies a drone under a bridge, a pair of hands reaches into a box, and we test out how good is a one inch sensor. It's been a struggle. We're finally in a position to open up the package and let you know what's inside. It's definitely a DJI drone, but which one? Whee! It's the Air 2S. The most bang for your buck. As far as we could tell. 2000 bucks, fly more combo. <sighs> you can't really say no. The Mavic Air 3 is 2000 bucks, and you only get a controller. But that is the smart controller. And in case you don't know, turns out it's been discontinued. Interesting. Beautifully packaged, everything's well refined. The drone itself, pretty much the standard Mavic Air foldy legs. It's not a big deal. Don't know why I said that. Probably not really relevant. Inside box number one, we've got all our batteries, power cables, everything needs to be charged. Lots of books to read, bring you up to speed, DJI's bump. And there's a lot of propellers in there. More than you'll ever probably need in your life. Of course, you got the spare sticks as standard. And then in this wonderful package is the new DJI Handy Filters. Wonderfully presented. And that's the end of that. So now we get power to the drone. Get those batteries charged, get that remote controller charged, and then we're going to send it up and show you how well does a one inch sensor stand up against the 8 bit sensor that we had on the Mavic Air 2. It's going to definitely be an interesting conversation, one which we will bring you. So don't forget, shameless plug, hit that like button, subscribe. Turn on the notifications. Let's see what happens next. It's a pretty impressive one inch sensor. The dynamic range is incredible. This of course is 5.4K, 30 frames a second. As we can see, graded the footage, added a lot, made it look all purdy, but that's still incredibly impressive performance from a one inch sensor, especially on a drone. A new location. Where to next? This next test is basically flying up and down the Campbell River and we're trying to see how well the ND filters perform depending on what way you're facing into the light or away from the light. Right now we're flying away. It's a lot of detail being preserved in those shadows. But here's a test. So we're flying into the sun. We've got reflections of the light coming straight up to the sensor off the water. 
which is kind of having a bit of an issue then exposing correctly for the top of the bridge. So what I'm going to do is try and fly under the bridge in the hopes that I'm going to test the sensor with an ND8 filter and see how well it does. Squeaky bum time. Those guys are casting as I'm flying. But all in all, look at that detail. Even in the highlights, there's still a lot of information being preserved. You can see the water towers off in the distance to your right hand side. I still get depth perception in the blacks. This is an impressive drone. I could well be in love. Even at night, the half-inch sensor performs magically. We caught some wonderful images over our time together. We salute you, Mavic Air 2. Thank you for all you gave us. And in conclusion, the Air 2S. It's a fabulous drone. Super happy with my purchase. There are a couple of small issues. Small issues being, the smart controller is now discontinued. There will be absolutely no more firmware updates for it. That's a bit of a bummer. We also discovered something about the Air 2S that not a lot of people are talking about. We're talking about sending it back. If you'd like to know why, we have a video coming up that will detail everything you need to know. <laughs> Toodles! Say, in today's video, I'm unboxing a drone, which I gave back so I cannot film with and have no <laughs> proof I actually used it. Okay, but so.